Let me show you how to do your dishes, even if they're super gross and you left them overnight. I have stacked and, and it's all strategic, you know, all of the plates together. Here's the cutlery. It's all stacked into that pot. I'm going to use ivory. It's in almost all of my videos. It's amazing stuff. And I show you other uses for it. But today we're actually going to use it for dishes. So just give it a good handsome squirt in there. And we want to start off with a nice clean sink. Now I'm just going to rinse the sink. Okie dokie. So we got the setup all complete. Oh, we're going to add some ivory. I like to be pretty generous with my squirts. Cups first. because those are the things that you want the most germ-free. I don't fill up the sink entirely because if you do, then there's no room for rinsing if you only have a single sink. And it's on the hottest possible. Hot, 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 hot water. Now, you wanna make sure that you rinse your rim. That's where people are drinking. Get that rim. Handle, inside. You got this, right? You got this. I know you got this. Find the things that don't have stuff stuck on them really badly. Leave the other stuff soak. Let them be in there longer. Here we go. I found one. I found one that's easy. Let the things that are the worst be in the water the longest. While I'm letting things soak too, I can take my, my dishcloth and I can go around and wash off the counters, give things a, a little bit of a wipe so that when I'm all finished, I'll be on top of things. Things like the microwave, you can give it a wipe, shine it up. It gives your dishes a little bit of a chance to, you know, like, like look, all of a sudden magically, it's, it's a lot better, <laughs> much easier. Now bowls are the same thing. You want to make sure you get that rim because somebody might have had soup out of it or something and you want to make sure that you're going to get any germs off of the rim. When you're finished doing a meal prep, if you can give them a rinse right away or put a little bit of water in the bottom of a yucky pan, then it's going to be so much easier to clean later. I'm going to put in the next round of stuff. I've got a plastic plate that I use and some plasticware. You know, uh, the colander is going to go in. Plastic stuff looks like a peanut butter nightmare of some sort. A few more glass lids. So that's all going to be soaking really nice. And in the meantime, I can clean up more on the countertops because now I can actually see some of the countertops, which is very nice. Make sure you get around your taps and stuff too. It had stuff on it. It just about all came off, but don't trust that it's clean even though the food fell off. You need to rub that surface to get the germs all gone and make sure you do the handles. Give them a good rinse. Shake the excess water off and strategically put it into your mountain of dishes. Wait till I show you what's happening here in mine. So look at this strategic placement of dishes. It's a pyramid. Be careful if you make a pyramid. You could hurt someone. <laughs> Doing dishes with Debbie. Doing dishes with Debbie. Debbie does dishes. Debbie does dishes. Doing dishes with Debbie. That's how lame I really am. I have these plastic plates because I feed the neighbors sometimes and well, most of the time they won't give things back. So I've learned just buy some plastic dishes. They actually will survive a couple of uses. So there's my tip of the day. I'm going to add the, the next least dirty things, which is, you know, like the cheese grater, got a pot. Getting down to the nitty gritty. The pot of silverware in there. They tend to be one of the dirtiest things. A burnt craft dinner in it a long time ago. It's never been the same and it doesn't come off. It will never come off. But if you burn stuff, then these are great. SOS pads, they're like, they have like built-in little blue things, which make a terrible mess in your water. So I try to use it the very last thing in my sink, but these work really good for washing stuff. 
Another thing I do is I roll up twine, and that works really great for washing dishes too. See, the SOS pads are not very environmentally friendly. Jute twine is a natural substance, and you can just roll up a, a roll up a bowl of this. It's hard for me to do on here, but just roll up a bowl of it, tie it in a knot, and you can scrub your pots with it. Works fantastic. So if you don't burn your food, then you have a better chance of not having to uh, deal with terrible burnt on stuff, but it happens. It happens to the best of us, you know, even moms burn stuff from time to time. When you're doing knives, be careful for one thing because the sharp part is sharp. Um, but also make sure you do your handles when you're doing your knives and do each one individually. Do not just pick up a handful and do them because that is not going to get them clean. And I mean, let's face it, people's mouths have been on these. We really need to make sure that we do each one individually. When you're going to dry things in your little cup thing, put the pointy part down. You don't want anybody grabbing it by accident and, and hurting themselves. The spoons, you want them faced up because otherwise they're going to sit at the bottom. The, the cup is not entirely perfectly clean. You're gonna get germs on them. So. Just make sure your forks also go in like that. Better off not to hold the top part of the fork. Hold it by the handle and then put it in. You want to keep everything as germ-free as possible. It is important. Now there's not much left to show you other than threaded pots. And this one I had itchy ban. It's good wholesome Canadian food. This pot, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. This also cheesy mess that's gonna go in there anything that was the very worst your greasy pans they go in last you're gonna let it soak for a few minutes perhaps or if you're feeling really rugged about things you can go to town on them right away while those are soaking i'll show you my twine method which i'm terrible at the, the twine never does what i want it to do just roll it up. It doesn't even matter if you tie it. It doesn't matter uh, how it's done. Just in a bowl. In a bowl. If you tie it though, then you're not going to have this big spaghetti noodle of a scrubber. So it's just in a bowl. In a bowl. Here's that gross itchy band pot. You see all the grossness in there? Just dampen your little jute and like, it, it's just so easy. It's, it's working out just fantastic. It's hard to see, but maybe the frying pan will work better. And if you feel it's really greasy, take some of your ivory, squirt it right on there, and then give it a whirl. You want to make sure that you get all the grease off. And it's pretty easy. Pretty easy. So I, I'm just gonna, you know, leave it at that because I think that that's all you need to know. Those are the basics. Just wash everything, rinse everything. Make sure that you scrub every single individual thing. Be careful on things like the cheese grater because you don't want to grate your skin off. Use a different cloth every single day because it will get germs and bacteria when you're finished with it. At least hang it over something to dry. Look at how horrible this one looks already and I just took this one out. Remember to clean your countertops and all the way around the sink and everything when you're finished because you know little floods happen while you're doing this. So dishwashing is my least favorite chore. We don't have a dishwasher. What's your least favorite chore? Is it dishwashing? I'd love to hear in the comments down below. If you've got any tricks for dishwashing, let me know. What's your favorite dishwashing detergent? You know, ivory is definitely my favorite. It doesn't have the funky perfume smells and stuff that some of the other ones do. Some of them, they say it's lavender, but it just smells like full on chemical to me. So not up my alley at all. I've bought so many different kinds and always, always ivory is my go-to. I even questioned my daughter and I said, which one do you prefer? Because I kind of did a little test on her and she agreed. She said that ivory worked the best at grease cutting 
and it just the most thorough dishwashing. So I always have it on hand. Ivory, and you can use it for so many other things. Not only did I clean my sink out with it, I use it in the washroom and all kinds of other things. And so just check out my other videos if you want to see more uses for ivory. This is inexpensive, wonderful way to clean. I think that you could learn a lot of tricks from watching my other videos. Have a great day. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. You're all so awesome.